Hi everybody, welcome to my first uh, video in the Word of the Day series. Um, these videos are produced in uh, using the Mrs Wordsmith products. Um, if you've seen some of my earlier videos you will know that I have, I'm a teacher, I teach year five and I have been using Mrs Wordsmith products in with my class um, for the past two years now. Um, we actually use Mrs Wordsmith products across the family of uh, Brook Western schools that I work in and um, the children absolutely love them. So I hope you enjoy this lesson and I hope you enjoy learning lots of lovely new words with Mrs Wordsmith. Now, I was a little bit um, unsure about what word I should teach you guys first. When I woke up this morning, I looked out the window and the sun was shining and I thought, what better way to start our Word of the Day series whilst you guys are working from home than to use um, a weather word. So today we are going to learn a word to describe the weather. Okay, and <clears throat> the word that we are going to learn, you can see the picture here, the word is temperate. I'd like you to repeat with me and say the word temperate. Temperate. Okay, you can say it in a whispered voice. Temperate. 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 Okay, and you can see that this word is an adjective. You will know from school that an adjective is a word that is used to describe a noun. Okay, and this word means mild or pleasant. And the reason that I chose this word is because today you can probably see in the background, look, the sun is shining, the sky is nice and blue, there is a slight breeze, but the weather is mild or pleasant mild or pleasant. So I could definitely describe the weather today as temperate. I'd like you to pause the video and when you pause the video I want you to go and look outside, you might already be outside, you might not be in <clears throat> the same part of the country that I am. So I want you to go and look outside and have um, and, and talk about this with your brother or sister or with a grown-up and I want you to decide whether the weather is temperate where you are. So remember the word is temperate and it's an adjective meaning mild or pleasant because where I am today the weather is definitely mild or pleasant. So pause the video here, go and have a little look outside, see if the weather where you are is mild or pleasant, see if the weather is temperate. Okay, well, um, you will now know whether the weather outside where you are is mild or pleasant, whether the weather is temperate. I'd like us just to have a little look because one thing I really love about Mrs Wordsmith is these fabulous pictures. They're all done in a really fun cartoon style and you can see that the character here is kind of lazing. We call this a pontoon or a pier. And that's something that sticks out into a river or a lake. You sometimes um, see them next to lakes and people sit on them and, and go fishing or have a picnic. And you can see that the character here is really relaxing in the temperate weather. He's really, um, you know, the sky is blue. It looks like the sun is, you know, shining. It's a really lovely day. It's obviously quite warm because I can see here that his foot is dangling in the water. And that's something that you do on a really warm day. So that's really nice. I, I really enjoy weather when it's temperate, okay? And if you look at the bottom of the picture here, as we said, <clears throat> this is an adjective to describe mild or pleasant weather. And underneath it says, like a place where the weather is never too hot and never too cold. So actually that's how it is here today. The weather is not too hot and it's not too cold. So it's warm enough that I can sit outside but you will also see that I am wearing a jumper and I'm not too hot and I'm not too cold. So the weather is definitely temperate. I think it's probably just about warm enough that I could stick my feet into a little pool of water like this guy here. Okay. Now there are two challenges that go along with this particular word and I'm going to add these onto the video at the end. So the first challenge is a handwriting challenge. 
Now, you can see here that these letters are not joined up, but I know that you guys are fantastic with joining up your handwriting. So um, challenge number one is to, <coughs> pardon me, is to really practice the joins in this word. So having a fantastic vocabulary and knowing amazing words like temperate, yes, it will make your brain grow. Yes, it will really impress your friends. However, what will really um, help you is when you can use these words in your writing. So the next challenge is going to be to write this word and I'm going to show you how to do all the joins in this word. Okay, so by now you will have completed challenge number one, which is handwriting challenge. Challenge number two is a little bit more creative. And you can do this if you have your notebook with you on the page underneath your handwriting. I used um, handwriting lines for my handwriting because I wanted to show you guys um, how the heights of the letters should be. That's something that children sometimes find a little bit difficult is to make sure that the heights of their letters are all the same and you can see that there are two t's in this word and they are what we call ascending letters so they stick up they're the sticky uppy letters and we've also got a p um, which is called a descender and descenders are the letters that stick down below the line so i wanted you guys to really focus on getting your ascenders and your descenders perfect Challenge number two, now you've done your handwriting, is a bit more creative. 
So I would like you to find, if you can, a piece of, <coughs> pardon me, plain paper. And what I would like you to do, you're not allowed to copy the image from Mrs. Wordsmith, okay? Your challenge is to draw a picture of a place that is temperate. Now, earlier I asked you to go and look outside of your window to see if the weather where you are is temperate today, whether the weather is mild or pleasant, because remember that, that temperate means mild or pleasant, like a place where the weather isn't too hot and isn't too cold, okay? Now, if you went outside and you looked outside and the weather actually really was quite temperate, you can do this challenge outside. You can take your piece of paper and you can draw what you see. If the weather isn't very temperate where you are today, then I'd like you guys to use your imagination and think about a place where you have been where the weather was temperate, where it was mild or pleasant. Now, it might be that um, that is on, I don't know, we, we sometimes have temperate weather in the summer at school. And when we're really lucky, when we have temperate weather at school, we can take our packed lunches out and eat on the field, which is really, really nice. But you might have been somewhere else where the weather was temperate. So once you've done your handwriting, I'd like you to go and draw your picture of um, a place where the weather is temperate. Now, if you are in my class at school, I would like you guys please to send me a picture of your work um, via our online learning platform, or you can email me. You guys will have my email address. And um, if you are not in my class at school, I would like you to show your work to an adult and explain what the word temperate means. Okay, so this is the end of the video, guys. Um, thank you for uh, joining me today to learn our new word, temperate, meaning mild or pleasant. Temperate. Okay. Your final challenge, and this is a secret challenge, your final challenge using the word temperate is going to be to sneak this word into conversation. And when you're talking to an adult or a friend, perhaps later today, um, I would like you to try and use the word temperate when you are speaking to them. Okay, have an amazing Sunday afternoon and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.